not all data sets are univariate, that is just one variable being collected. This is an example of a bivariate data set. And what we have here are pairs of data values in minutes. And these are old faithful geyser eruptions um, from uh, Wyoming. And X is the waiting time in minutes between eruptions. And Y is the eruption time. And it turns out that this particular data set is built into R as what is known as a data frame named Faithful. And that particular data frame has two columns. The first column gives the waiting time and the second is eruptions and that gives the eruption time. And so you get those two values using the R plot function plotted as a scatter plot on the two axes here. Couple things to notice about this particular pairing of data. This looks to be what you might call a tri-modal data set, which is very unusual. There appears to be a mode somewhere around here that is a high point to the distribution another mode here and then possibly a third mode there. So that's one thing to notice about this data set. A second thing to notice is that right around two minutes and right around four minutes there's a lot of clustering. So there is the possibility that whoever collected the data had some rounding off near 2 and 4 minute durations. So again, we will be looking at, in probability, we will be looking at joint distributions of two random variables and this is kind of their statistical equivalent in terms of a data set.